everyone. This is Lord of the Samurai. Welcome back to some more Wanda Lake Front Academy and Football Manager 2020. Today, um, well, before anything, uh, I'm I just encur I'm gonna encourage you to go watch the last two episodes. The last two episodes are freaking massive. Before you watch this one, because the, the you'll get the context a lot better of uh of what we're in. If you just want to spoil yourself and just you don't even watch those, uh, you can probably already know you probably already know what happened because of the title, but. I still encourage you to go watch his videos. They were epic. They really were. Now, um, uh, uh, today, we're going to have two Confederations Cup group games. I decided to do a double header because, I mean, these games are literally week apart. And I I don't like recording so soon after one episode. So, I decided that I'm just, I'm just going to record these. And I'm going to record the Super Sport game as one separate, uh, one separate match. And uh, I think I'll do the same here. I'll do uh, a double header of Gormachia and Tetuan uh, because they're a week apart. So I think that's what I think that's how the upload schedule is going to be for this one, or the the video format rather. I'm going to do uh, a double header. I'm going to do two double headers, and the Super Sport matches will have their own video. So yeah, our first team we're going to play is Gormachia. They're actually a Kenyan side. Um, I think we should win. Really, we're we're favorites for the game. Surprisingly. Um, I wasn't expecting to be favorites of the game. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, Ronda Lake from the Academy favorite for Gormachia African Battle. So I, I, I'm quite surprised with favorites for this because Gormachia, you know, they're not the best side in the world. But, I mean, if you look at the schedule, um, they, they got lost pretty comfortably to Sahau in the Champions League. But they, um, they actually beat Astras from Cameroon, uh, and the um, second, in the third round of the, or the second round of the Confederations Cup, which is actually the third round technically, so we we can't underestimate them by any means. But if I mean, I don't think Super Sport or Tetuan are going to drop points to Gormachia, so we really got to be winning this if we have want to have any chance of going through. And I know that I'm going through. I know I'm jumping on a motorcycle here, but uh, what I don't think I don't want to just participate i want to actually show something i don't think we're going to make it through the groups because super sport and tetuan are just that much better but i um i at least want to show something so i expect the six points against gormachia at least all right now let's look at the lineup i actually gave a few nicknames as i promised um I gave um, this guy the name nickname Ruko Ruko Goza. That's what you probably see where the name comes from. Ruko Goza. I, I was tempted to give him Yannick too, but I had too many twos in the side already, so decided to uh, uh, skip ahead of uh, skip skip that uh, little skip that name and just go with the short name of Ruko. I think Ruko sounds pretty cool, anyways. So, uh, and I gave um, the new center back whose last name I'm never gonna be able to pronounce. I gave it Snorlax. I was thinking about giving it Snorlax for a while, but um, it's not because he eats and sleeps a lot. It's mostly because he's a um, he's a wall, basically. Like, you know how in the Pokemon game, Pokemon Red and Blue, you could never get past that Snorlax, and then there's parodies about it on YouTube. Like, I think Smosh did one where uh, you couldn't go around that Snorlax that was blocking the road. That's basically what I'm doing. It's basically going to be... He's, he's, he's like Destroyer. Kind of like the nickname Destroyer. I, I uh, give the other center back. So that's that's where the name Snorlax comes from, and I, I think it's an okay name. Like it doesn't sound as cool as Ruko or Chicago, but it's um I gave one name Ivysaur, so I'm gonna give it Snorlax. So yeah, let's. I, I think those I think those are fine names for them. All right, and um yeah, we're gonna give this a go. Uh, we still have a we we're gonna leave Michael Jackson in net. You know he's been our keeper since basically the start of the save. He was we was I think I believe he was in our first intake. Then we have Thierry Two at right back, Snorlax Destroyer at center back, Small Patrick at left back. You all know what to expect from this uh, back line. Not the greatest, but they'll do the job that, uh, that they need to, especially in these games against such teams like Gormachia. Chicago, who was who had 25 assists last season, and he actually has uh, five assists in the um, in the Confederations Cup, so he's still doing it, the bits. It, it wasn't just a one season wonder. Uh, Ruko, who I kind of rate actually. Like he's got, he's not got many stats over ten, but he's he's very balanced. Like he's got most of the stats near ten, and it, I think that, I think that really does help a little bit. Molenda in a deep, deep line playmaker. I still have yet to understand why this guy's five stars. I don't think he's that good, but 
like Rugo, he's got most of his stats near 10. He's very balanced. So, yeah, there's Kaza, who um, I'm finding it harder to replace because he's he just he just performs every season. Uh, he just does his job well, and uh, he's an important part of the team. And I, I don't think I'm going to replace him at Chicago until we get someone that is seriously better. And then the two star players, Beautiful and uh, The Light. The Light is our best player by far. So... Yeah, that is um that is the lineup we're gonna go with. Let's do this. Gormachia. Um, like I said, they are um, I, they're a side we cannot underestimate. But I still think we will win this. I still think we should be winning both games. I I'd imagine they'd be similar to Red Arrows, maybe a little bit weaker, but. Yeah, they're they're kind of like that. Okay, well they get the first shot of the game. All right, here's a chance. A Wanga has it for them. Okay, um, Mulenda tackles. Okay, we want it back. Chicago, the light. That looked okay. That was actually on side. Uh, it didn't even look offside. I don't know what I was saying, but I thought it was going to be like a fraction offside. He wasn't. The light scores the first goal of the game. Um, kind of a little duel there. A bad pass from Awanga. I think that was his name. Yeah, Awanga. And uh, yeah, um, Chicago with another assist. That's his sixth assist in the tournament. The light continues his top scorer uh, quota. Personally, I want Super Sport to lose. Super Sport are. The, the team we want to knock out if we do go through. Uh, that's a big if, though. That's a very big if. Chicago! Ooh. Keeper saves it. Ocho, Ochoya. That's a, that's his name. Or Ochola. If it's Spanish, it's Ochoya. Let's take a look. He's Kenyan, so it's probably Ochola. Oh, but his name is Luis. So it would be Lucho Ochoa, wouldn't it? I don't know. I'm just rambling now. Um, these are mostly grayed out players, if not all of them. I want to see if there's anyone that's not grayed out. It looks like they're all grayed out, to be honest. Yeah, they're, they're all grayed out players. I should have checked for the lineup, but... Yeah, okay. Nothing to see here. All right, we're one 0 up, and we're in relative control. But we gotta put another goal or lead. Okay, Super Sports winning a tattoo on, so that makes the next game absolutely massive. Because what I've noticed in these uh, clashes, and not just in the African Champions League, in any Champions League in general, the weakest team don't tend to pick up points very much. So like, for the bigger teams, like it really keeps the pressure on. It's kind of like what APR is doing in the league right now. They're not losing, so I don't. I can't see Super Sport lose to uh, Gormachia nor Tetuan, so it's really about beating them. The team that goes out is going to be the one that draws points. The uh, the this can inside, so with all the respect, but that that that's usually how it works. And uh, yeah, we just can't afford to draw points. Like I said, I don't want to just participate. I want to give a good showing and find our way to the next round if possible. Because I know we can do it. We have some good, we have some players to be able to do it. However, I, I do, don't do really have faith in beating uh, Super Sport, though. I have some faith in beating the other team, Tetuan, but Super Sport uh, is going to be very difficult. All right, Small Patrick. Miranda. There's Chicago. Oh, I thought it was going to get another assist. No, he shoots it this time. He wants to have a, his own bite at the sandwich. All right, he's very tired. Um... I want to take him off just for safety measures. I might regret that, but French turret, you know, is better in experience. He will get us through this. Now Thierry, the French turret. There's Thierry again. Cross it in. There is Kaza two 0 
Okay, that is great stuff. That is great stuff. Okay, there is Terry two. All right, he goes on the right wing or the right, the right. He's the right back, but he goes on the right wing. Uh, the light is beautiful. Shoots, but a Choya saves. Choya saves. All right, Ruko takes the corner. Taps up, he takes it. Okay, it's slid out. It's just one of those uh pointless corner highlights. Yeah. Um, you know what? We're gonna give uh Mutanga a run. And APR are holding their own against it. I think Belu's dad is uh, Algerian, if I remember correctly. They're either Algerian or Tunisian, but they're one. They're uh, drawing right now. I, I almost said 1-1. One, one. I'm not sure if it's 1-1, one, one, but they're drawing. That's the point. That is um not too bad from APR. Oh, no. There's Kelly. Kelly. Any scores? Okay. Well, we have five minutes to hold on now. Like I said, we really don't want to drop points here. This is not a game where we want to drop points. I'm going to look at the um APR score, actually. APR is drawing 0-0. No, no. Fair play to them. And Super Sport's still winning. Okay. Four more minutes to hold on. That's a little bit much. I think we're going to concede here, actually. Get it out. Yep. Okay. I had a feeling that was coming. That's very bad. That's a very, very bad result. And I had a real feeling it was going to come. That's so disappointing. Maybe I shouldn't have risked my subs too much. I think that might have cost me. But I don't know. They they had two long shots and they scored both. They got a uh, lucky. Bang on Tom, that wasn't good enough anyways. Because I like you can't draw that match if you want to go through in the Confederations Cup. Now we just got to hope 10 to 1 or Super Sport uh, draw against the Cormachia. Like, it's not over yet, obviously. But it's uh, going to be kind of hard to plan back from this especially because i expect to lose both games to go super sport but we'll find out we'll find out in a week what happens because we play tattoo next it's a big very big game you play in morocco so yeah we'll see what um what happens there and yeah I'll, I'll see you guys in a bit i'm just gonna stop the recording to get to that match we are back uh we're gonna play tattoo now and uh we are underdogs for this one i think I think those odds are uh, make us heavy underdogs. Yeah, I said a gamble before. I should mention that I uh, I use the decimals. I don't know any anything about fractions. So yeah, uh, we actually do AS Kigali in the uh, in the mid or in the weekend. Sorry, well, it's the mid yeah, it's the midweek. It's the midweek. We do them in the midweek. Um, I just need some result of this match. In all honesty, I was I was kind of focused on this one, but. Yeah, let's let's do this. Let's see who we okay. So I rotated the squad in the last game, as you could tell. We're gonna put on the best team again. And this time we're gonna stick with it. I'm not gonna make the same mistake I did in the last match. Like the light is gonna come back on. He has to play. It's, he's he's the best player for freak's sake. Okay, Bruco instead of Mbazimana. Mulanda. Um am I missing anyone? I'm missing Snorlax. Yeah. Yeah, Runanira is gonna go and sub it's gonna go in subs for sure. I'm just making sure we're not missing anyone. I think we're not. Okay. This is gonna be the toughest game of the save so far. Not the biggest, but definitely the toughest. And um And that's that feat is only gonna be uh, overtaken the next match when we play Super Sport, but for now this is definitely the toughest. Alright, um I'm gonna close down the wing backs. You can notice, you can notice when I take a game seriously. It's when I go in the opposition instructions and do my own instructions. That's why I take a game extra seriously. Um, and we're gonna take off the Marco Nazim, and we're gonna put always closing down because he's a supporting player. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> All right. 
I kind of want Super Sport to draw, but it's they're gonna win. I'm pretty sure. Oh no. Okay. Oh wow, there's actually people. Did they fix the bug? Because there's no people in my stadium, even though we have like ten thousand, which is like ninety percent capacity. But apparently, in the Arabic leagues, um, North African leagues rather, they um, they do have people in the stands. You can actually see them. For some reason, the Sub-Saharan African leagues, I you can't see anyone. It's weird. Is this the first time against a North African team? I think it is. Yeah, because we played Cape Town City in the first theater. I can't remember who played the second the second time we got in the Champions League. Oh, we played Red Arrows, and then the third time we played um. Uh, that's, that's oh wow, good block. Who was that? That was Thierry too. Good block. Yeah, and the third time we played um. I can't even remember who we played the third time. It wasn't a North African team though, was it? Yeah, and we then played North African team in the um. In the Confederations Cup earlier this uh this season, so I, I can't remember, but I think I'm pretty sure this is the first time against a North African team. So this is kind of a meaningful match. A small Patrick, or a, nah, I wouldn't say meaningful. It is meaningful, but more of a milestone. Azim, good interception. Terry's doing well, but ah, uh, he was beating quite easily there. And La La Ruya scores. The Rio scores for Tetuan. That's not the start we wanted. I, I want to see where Farron go on, but most of the chances I've been for them. I'm going to attempt to get creative. I want to see if we can find uh, what team we played. Because I'm really curious now. Oh, Candle Pillars. That's right. Yeah, so this is the first time we've been in North African team. That was a wow. That was a horrible pass. That was a horrible pass. All right, Super 4 are winning, so that game is probably out of sight, even though they're only up 1-0. I don't ex I expect uh, Gormachia to lose pretty heavily there. And they're on the counter again. And there's Tricky, another good stop, another good uh, uh, block by Small Patrick. Last time it was by Thierry, this time it was the other fullback. Oh, the other fullback, sorry. Okay. I I don't want to say we're doing too bad, to be honest, but they are closer to the second goal than we are to the first. In fairness. Okay. What is... uh? We've gotten a few shots since. So it's like we've uh, kind of gotten our own little spell. We also have more possession, but... As always, it's what you do with the ball, not when you have it. Uh, there's nothing to lose today. We're just going to relax them. And there's a lot more to come from you. As that always works. Is there any subs I can make? It? Not really. I'm going to trust in Ruko. I, I was going to take him off and put the other guy on. But um, I think Ruko is... Uh, by the other guy, I mean... And Kinzing now, Kizzy Gabo. I, I seriously got to give him a nickname. I still haven't thought of one for him. Because I plan to use him as a sub for the most part. Who scored? I Oh, I can't see him anymore. <laughs> okay, I got to wait till this highlight's done. And they have another chance. Michael Jackson with a good save. Something tells me the highlight's not doing many favors here, but... We're losing, so I got to keep it on. Okay, I can't see him yet, but he's 20 years old. And they've uh, taken control of the game again, so I'm going to get creative. I'm going to to get creative, rather. And you know what? I am going to do one thing. I'm going to switch Beautiful 2 in the light. See if that makes a difference. Destroyer. Okay, okay. We No, Melinda loses his duel. Loses his duel. All right, Labiad. Okay, good, good block, but again, we're losing our door. Okay, there we go. Kaza, Kaza has it. He's on the counter. Oh, he sh that's a, that's a terrible clearance or not clearance, but oh my god, Michael Jackson ate that one up. It's two 0 to Tetuan. 
Um, we're going to lose this. There's really not much else I could say. We're going to lose this, and uh, I can see a third goal, actually. So, yeah. I I can't fault the effort, but some of the decision-making here has been atrocious. Some of the decision-making here has been terrible. All right, Mulanda. Small Patrick. Okay, that was a, a better decision-making, but uh, we've been beaten in pace here. That's the third, yeah. I guess I can't complain too much. I mean, they are a better team by a, a quarter of a mile. Or Does that make sense? They're, they're a better team by a lot, but... They are, um... Basically, it's not gone too well for us. Because they're, they're just simply better. All right, are we going to get a consolation here? Um, we almost did. Yeah, they've defended well. They've defended well, too. Like, that's the one the other thing I didn't mention. Like, they've done well against their... I don't want to say it's their weak attack. I think the light and beautiful can cut it at this level, but... Our wingers, not so much. Chicago is a great player, but he's a, a lot better. For, he's a lot better at um, it's a lot better dominating the smaller teams. So, yeah, I think the light and beautiful really are the only ones who cut it. But that doesn't say they don't have a place in the team, and we'll see how they do with Super Sport. Casa for sure isn't uh, at this level. Chicago may be a little closer, but Casa for sure is uh below the the standard, but. Yeah, he's what we have right now, and I, I love him to death. Like, he's he's done so much for us. And there he is, Kaza. All right, cross it in. The light. Beautiful. Okay, we scored one. And that came, that that goal came from Kaza. Like, just another... I don't want to say I criticized him. Like, I'm just being realistic. I think, he, I think he's a wonderful player, but... Like, he's not a Champions League winning player. That's what I'm saying. And to beat teams like Tetuan, you do need uh, players that are a little bit better. But, um, yeah, Kaza, Kaza is an important player at this club. Like, I'm not trying to criticize him at all. In fact, I'd say it's mostly the, just the, the, the him in Chicago's decision-making has been poor today. So, yeah, okay. It's full-time. We lost 3-1. I guess it's a respectable result, but, mm, you know, I'm just going to tell him I can't fault them. It's our first time against a North African team, so it, it, it was really a test of fire. That's what it was. And uh, we're not going to go through this, this group anymore. I think that Gore Machia draw has really killed us. But, um, yeah, we'll be back for the Super Sport game. That one's our first home game. I, I yeah, yeah. No, it's our second home game. But it's um, we uh, it, it's our first home game, and it's a real, like, solid contender. Because Gore Machia, as, as, uh, as well as they did against us, they're not a contender for to win this whole thing. So... Yeah, that's going to be a big one. And like I said, that's going to be a, it's all match. It's going to be its own video. And then we'll have another double header with Gormach and Tetuan again. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. It's been Lola Sayonara, and I'm signing off. Cheers.